What is going on everyone? T-Bone coming back at you again with a, another Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. Today we have here the two newest Speed Duel products. We have the new structure decks, or starter decks actually, uh, Ultimate Predators, which has Weevil and Rex Raptor. And both these decks have 30 cards apiece instead of the 20. And here's the uh, card list for each deck. Now the uh, variant cards they list are the Ultra Rares. So it looks like we have Jar of Avarice and Order to Charge. And unfortunately, my card shop did not get a box of the uh, Speed Duel set Scars of Battle. He said he would order that, so I should have that next week. But in the meantime, I did pick up uh, four blister packs of the set. And each blister pack has four packs, and so we got a total of 16 packs for that. Um, so let's just start off here with the starter decks. Since these are always guaranteed the same thing. Now, the one thing I'm a little upset about with these is they are not in those little cardboard boxes. I thought those were kind of cool, honestly, to have those little things. But I guess Konami went more the traditional route and cellophane them. Although you do get the uh, artworks on whose deck is who, so I mean those are kind of cool. They are dual link advertisement cards. But real quick, it does come with a paper mat as well. Uh, we don't have too many mats for speed duels. We have the two paper mats, which are the same I believe for the first starter decks. This one, and there is a cloth one as well. Like uh, this kind of this kind of material here. But here's the back, gives you the ruling, some more instructions, and it looks like they also have recommendations with the different skill cards. And then turning it over, here's the actual mat, there's Serpent Knight Dragon, our three zones, perfectly with some great moth, so nothing too crazy. Then we have the two decks here. So let's start off here with Weevil. If I can find the little tab that would help open. Oh, it's in the front here. All right, there we go. So again, it, this is a Duel Links promo card, and it shows uh, Weevil on the back also. I mean, I guess this is kind of cool. Still prefer the little cardboard boxes though. That the little pull tab was very satisfying, and plus, it, if you really wanted to, it became like a little storage for your uh, unsleeved cards. Is uh, I don't know why you would play with unsleeved cards, but. Let's get into here. So there's Jar of Avarice as an ultra rare. And there you can see the speed duel mark on the card, as well as it's saying speed duel there. So that's our only foil out of this uh, whole set. A little damaged actually in the corner there. But yeah, that's our only foil. All the other cards are commons. Um, each character does come with two skill cards. This one for Weevil is Hyper Metamorphosis. You can always pause the video if you would like to read the effect. I think I left it there plenty long enough though. Um, and this one uh, just says flip over when you activate, so there's no specifics on this. Then we have his second card, Hidden Parasite. Which, again, you can always pause if you want to read that. And this one is um, activated when you flip over, so it's the same thing. Then we have the monsters. We have Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. We have Petite Moth. 
big insect which has not seen a TCG printing as far as I'm aware of. So this is actually its first release. So I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess. Not a great monster, but it's still cool to see some OCG cards still getting reprinted here. It's some like older ones. And then we have uh, Basic Insect, Winged Cleaver, which this one doesn't look too familiar to me either, so this might be another OCG import. Uh, Kumotoko. And this is our third one, I think, in this deck, and I think the last one of the OCG imports, uh, Allen Section. Again, they're not great monsters, but it's just cool to see them in the TCG, so. Then you gotta have a Weevil deck and you have to have the Insect Queen. It's like one of his go-to monsters. And Cocoon of Evolution to get that perfectly ultimate Great Moth out. Maneater Bug, I'm surprised this is a common because this is a really good card in Duel Links. I mean, it doesn't see a lot of competitive play, but Back then, when it first got released in one of those, whatever, I think, main sets, or I don't remember. But when this was released, this was a very scary card. And it kind of still is in Speed Duel. Because, again, if it's flipped, if you put it face down the fence and it gets destroyed, you destroy a monster. It's very powerful in this format of Speed Duels. So, I'm again, I'm showing this a common. Uh, Pinch Hopper. Insect Princess. Then we have not one but two co uh, copies of Goki Pond. Beeless Soldier. And Beatron as our last monster. Which is pretty cool to see. Then for our spells, we have Laser Cannon Armor. Forest, which I thought this, if anything, would have been one of the. Um, skill cards but I guess it's cool to see it as a regular spell uh, Verdant Sanctuary which is actually a pretty cool reprint in this Insect Neglect Wormbait Enchanting Fitting Room Dark Factory of Mass Production Amulet of Ambition White Elephant's Gift. And yep, and the last spell is Eradicating Aerosol. And then for our few traps here, we have uh, Spider Egg. Corrosive Scales, which I believe its first printing was in the Legendary Duelist 2, if I'm not mistaken, as a rare. So now we have another we have a common printing of this card also. Adhesion Trap Hole, which is not bad for this format of Speed Duels either. And Order to Smash. Of course, with the censored uh, Dark Ruler Hades. So, yeah, pretty much for anyone who doesn't know at this point, Speed Duels are kind of like a real-life version of Duel Links which Konami released an app for. Uh, pretty much you only have anywhere between 20 to 30 cards. You have 4,000 life points instead of 8,000. And overall, it's just a quicker form of dueling. Um, you only get three monsters in spell zones, spell trap zones. And it's definitely a different kind of game. So here's the one for Rex. Which again, his original ace monster was uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon, but he's not in this, so it's a little interesting. And there's Order to Charge, another good reprint, especially as an Ultra. So that's definitely cool. Let's set that here. And here's our two skill cards for uh, Rex which uh, we have Dinosaur Kingdom, which is what I thought that Weevil would have, kind of like with Forest. And you can actually clearly see the Speed Duel symbol. And Nightmare Sonic Blast. Uh, this one is revolving around Serpent Night Dragon. 
Again, you can always pause if you want to take a look at the effect further. And Dinosaur Kingdom is at the start, flip it over and you're putting your uh, field zone. And then Sonic Blast is just when you activate. Alright, so getting on to the monsters, there's Serpent Knight Dragon, uh, Rex's apparent boss monster. Then you can't have a Rex deck without two headed King Rex. It's not a great monster, but it's just a some. It's like his card. Like you, you think Rex Raptor, you think of two head King Rex. Then we have uh, Urabi. Actually, two copies of them. Uh, Crawling Dragon number two. I believe this is also a TCG import as well, or OCG import. Excuse me. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I don't remember seeing this card, actually. So this might be a new import as well. Uh, Tomazaris. And uh, what is this? Anthrosaurus. With the horrid Joey kind of spelling in the description. And then we have uh, Black Tyranno. Super Ancient Dino Beast, which is pretty cool to have in a speed duel. Mad Sword Beast. Gillosaurus, which gotta love those special summons. Uh, Gale Lizard, which is pretty cool too in this format. Because again, once it's flipped over, you can return a target to the hand. So if they had to tribute two monsters, send it back to the hand, they're kind of out of luck with that. Uh, Dark Triceratops, simple yet effective with the uh, piercing damage. Hyper Hammerhead, Element Saurus, Black Stego, and the one dinosaur, quote unquote, that doesn't quite fit with the others. We have Gentlemander. And then we have our spells here, Raise Body Heat, Ultra Evolution Pill, which is pretty cool to see as well, Space Time Transcendence, Cost Down, so that's definitely good for overall use at this point, helps with uh, Blue Eyes as well, and Summoner's Art, Summoner's Art is also a good one too, you just add a level 5 or higher normal monster, so again, if you don't have a blue eyes in your hand, play Summoner's Art, and there you go. Uh, another White Elephant's Gift. Heat Wave, which is pretty cool also. Uh, also Card Advance. Looks like two copies of that. And that's it for the spells. Then our few traps we have Hunting Instinct. Reinforcements, classic card. It says gains 500 attack. I thought reinforcements was 700. Could be wrong, I'll have to double check that. Uh, Pharaoh's Treasure and Limit Impulse. So, yeah, you get the character specific cards, and then there's also just some generic good cards in there for overall support. And now for the second part, we have the Scars of Battle set. So again, this has four packs per blisters pack. And these only have four cards per pack. And the chaps, uh, the pa wow, the chaps, the packs are overall cheaper. In case anyone doesn't know. And also with these, you are not guaranteed any kind of foil. And there are also no rares. Uh, there's just straight commons. There are super rares and there's ultra rares. So yeah, um, just opening it all up here so this way we can help save a little bit of time. Probably too late for that, but... This video is already going on 15 minutes. Could have divided this up into two videos, but 
falling a little bit behind on videos. I have a lot of videos that I have to upload. So let's just get into it here. This way we can see which sets worked out the best. So again, only four cards per pack. And I'm going to be getting a box of this as well next week. And apparently they still didn't do the thing with the skill card. The skill card is still in the back. So if you get one, you'll know. Let's see. We got a major upset. Spell Power Grasp. Uh, Jurak Tyrannus. And Magical Plant Mandragola. Oh, and just like... Just like I said, so we already got a foil in this first pack. This one is a bone skill. Let's see, so we got another spell power grasp, uh, blast sphere, ally of justice core destroyer, and let's see, we have uh, servants of the fallen king. Once per turn, you can send one level three or lower zombie monster from your deck to your graveyard. Not bad. put those foils here so we got a super rare so far we still have two packs from this one blister pack fernity dwarf launcher spider with the original artwork fortress whales oath and screech so yeah, there's also just some good general uh, water support in here also Uh, Gatekeeper, which I don't know if this is actually another OCG import. I don't remember this card. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. And Equip Spell from your deck to your hand. And Release Restraint, so it actually goes perfect with it. So this would be good for any kind of equipped deck. In this case, a gear-free deck. And uh, Fighting Spirit. So only one foil from that blister pack. I think you might only get, I think you're guaranteed at least one foil per four sets in a blister pack, but let's see. So this would technically be the second one. Another spell power grasp, another blast sphere, core destroyer, and gatekeeper again. The beginning of the end with its really hard to see artwork. I'm trying to get the best I can in there. It's a lot hard to see actually when it's a foil. Uh, Gravity Axe Grarl. Slot Machine. And Fire Reaper, which again, I don't remember this card. So this could be another import as well, I'm not sure. Two more packs for this blisters pack. Security Orb, definitely a nice thing for the speed duel format. Seven completed, nice. Major upset. And another Fortress Whale's Oath. All right, so this is the last pack, so hopefully we can get a foil out of this. Usually when I've opened up these packs, there's usually one foil per four packs, so hopefully we get some out of this. We have Machine Conversion Factory, Gatekeeper, Danny Pond, and, ah, okay, no uh, Command Knight, so no foil out of that blister pack, I guess I was wrong. So let's get on with the next set of four. Wow, that one opened horribly. Fire Reaper. These cards kind of stick together a little because of the finish on them. Another uh, Machine Factory. Gatekeeper again. And another Danny Pond.
Screech. Finally, something different. Uh, Cabazools. Break Draw. And Empress Mantis. Yeah, we're not having great luck with foils out of this so far. Command Knight. Master Craftsman uh, Gamil, another new card we haven't gotten yet. Pendulum Machine. And uh, Bokoichi the Frightening Car. So that pack mostly had things we didn't get before, which is good. Uh, last pack for this blister set. No skill. And hopefully we get a foil. Another seven completed. Insect armor with laser cannon. First one of those. Another Danny Pond. I think we have a play set. And beginning of the end. So again, no foil. Wow, we only got one so far, and it's only a super. Well, we still got four packs here, so hopefully we can at least get one more hollow out of this. Fighting Spirit. Launcher Spider. Another seven completed. And Core Destroyer. Another Gamil. Conversion Factory. Another Gravity Axe. And another major upset. So we're already starting to see a lot of uh, re uh, doubles in here. The set's not that big. 34 commons, 8 super, and 8 ultra. So you're going to start to see a lot of repeats real quick. Especially if you get a box of this. Start seeing them real quick. Spell Power Grasp. Another Tyrannus. Mandragola. And another Inferni Dwarf. Alright, this is the last pack. Can we get some kind of foil from this? We, we haven't gotten good luck at all with this, so... Let's see. Can we at least get a skill card, maybe? Nope. No skill card. Can it at least be a foil? Can we keep it a surprise? Okay, cool. We at least got a Fortress Whale for our Fortress Whale's Oath. Another Mandragola, and Eternal Rest. And for our final card... Ah, oh man, we got another Blast Sphere. So out of 16 packs, we only got one foil. Man, that is not that great of luck. But hopefully we can get better luck when I get this box. Because I'm pretty sure you get... I think you get four of each. I think you get a total of four Ultras and four Supers out of a box. But, yeah, I really want Speed Duels to work out. I think it's a fun way for people to have a quick duel, get that Yu-Gi-Oh fix. Um, it's simplified rules, so you don't have to worry about the whole links or pendulums. Even It doesn't even go up to Synchros yet, so... This is a very easy way for people to get into Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, who might not want to play the full game, or just even quick games. Um, we're kind of starting from square one again. There's no ban list as of yet for it. And I think it's just fun what people would come up with for this. So, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of Speed Duels. Whether you like it, you hate it, how they can improve it maybe. Um, just, yeah, leave that in the comments down below or any other uh, questions, thoughts, or concerns, whatever you would like. Make sure you also like the video and subscribe to the channel and also hit that little notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads that I uh, upload pretty much. So that's going to be it for this video, guys, and until the next one, I'll see you next time.